in the news today. In economics, markets plunged yesterday as investors panicked that money printing is coming to an end before economic growth is fully back on track. Shares, bonds and commodities all saw big sell-offs across the UK, Europe, the US and Asia, with investors favouring cash to other assets. A leading Bank of England official has also warned that Britain's recovery is trading behind that of America and that monetary policy probably will have to be kept loose for longer as he played down the significance of recent stronger economic data. Boris Johnson argues that London needs a new round of investment in infrastructure, housing and transport if the city is to cope with a population approaching 10 million by the 2030s. The London Mayor has launched his long-term strategy for the city, Vision 2020. In personal finance, a third of the so-called sandwich generation are struggling with basic living costs and more than a fifth are in debt as they find it difficult to cope financially. These are people who are having to juggle the obligations of their lives caring for both older and younger family members simultaneously. Research from the Money Advice Service shows that 10% of the adult population are sandwich carers. In employment, Britain's workers have suffered more financial pain in 2008 than in any other period of the modern age, according to research by a leading think tank. The Institute of Fiscal Studies says that workers have had to bear unprecedented pay cuts of 6% in real terms over the last five years. In property, Alistair Heath today explains in the Telegraph that generation rent is being hit by the average rent in England and Wales rising by 3.9% on last year, but that, in contrast, private sector wages have not actually gone up. He argues that the answer to controlling rent is to allow for the building of far more private homes. In the SME sector, small stores are losing out most as shoppers demand to pay by card. Over one third of British shoppers avoid businesses that fail to take card payments or specify a minimum payment according to Santander and iSettle.